percussion amigo. Come on in me. Just in time to try my tortillas and frijoles. Flapjacks and beans, but good in any language. I'm sorry, Toro, but I don't have the time. What are you doing here in Paiute country? You fight the Indians again, maybe? Uh, not unless I have to. I'm on another little job for the governor. And where does His Excellency send you to this time? To Inyo County to check up on a new gold strike. Seems like he got a new specimen from there. From Puddingstone? From right here where you stand and talk with the most lucky man in all California. You mean you struck it rich already? Well, if not today, mañana. But here, El Toro will make his fortune mining the beautiful yellow gold. Soon I will be un hombre rico. You, a rich man? Well, that's a fine thing for a man to be. He doesn't have to eat tortillas and frijoles all his life. He goes to bed every night in a warm bed. And what's more, he has money. Yes, and has all the women chasing? Is that bad? Well, Toro, I gotta be making tracks. Well, take care of yourself, kid. The Paiutes are raiding again. Those marauding Indians? So I heard in town, several horses have been stolen Paiute style. Yes, I know. They raid on foot and then ride their loot out into the desert. Thanks for the warning, Toro. Wish you a nice to see you again. Hasta la vista, kid. Watch outside. Now, what are you doing riding around all by yourself? Where's your mommy and daddy? Daddy's out there by a great big rock. Why isn't he with you? He got awful sick and he couldn't ride anymore. Then he saw the Indians and he got scared for me. And then he gave you his canteen, the one on the pony. He told me to ride this way till I found somebody to take care of me. And he gave me something else, but I can't tell you about it yet. Now, this rock where you left your daddy, can you describe it to me? Well... Think hard. It was an awful big rock, and it had writing on it. Thanks, honey. Now I can find your daddy. Now you stay here. Take care of it, Toro. I've got to find a father and help him. But where? There's only one rock along this trail with writing on it. yet. Silencio. Poor kid, she's all tired out. What about her father? I found these at Inscription Rock. There were still some Indians around. You saw them? One. He tried to take my guns and my horse. Very stupid of him. But now they'll be following you as well as the little senorita. 
Yes. Why don't you get on your horse and the three of us make a dash for Inyo? I will not run away from the Indios and leave to them my pick and my shovel and the gear on my pack mule. If you think so much of them, why don't you unload them and turn them loose so you can get some forage? Muy bien. Take good care of my little querida. Her name is Marcy. No, honey. But now that you're awake, oh, you're a big girl. Let you and me get better acquainted. Now, my name is Kit Carson. May I call you Uncle Kit? Why not? Thanks. Now I have two uncles. Tell me, honey, when was the last time your daddy brought you out here? Daddy always took me when he had to do some work on his mind. Where did he do his work? Show me. Outside by the tunnel. Oh, when was the last time he did any work on the tunnel? It was an awful long time ago. How long ago? About a year ago? I don't know. I was a little girl then. Daddy told me not to show this to anybody till I found somebody that I liked a whole lot. To whoever shall find and care for my daughter Marcy, I give and bequeath the gold mine known as Pudding Stone Number One. This is my last... Joe Brown. This was very sweet of you to give this to me, Marcy. I'm glad I did. You know, you really should save this and give it to someone who can really take care of you. Someone who can give you a home to live in and a woman to be a mother to you. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to put this in a real safe place so nobody can find it. Right here. I do wish you'd keep it. But what if something should happen to me, which it easily could? Where would you be? No, we'll leave it here in a nice safe place, and whenever you want it, you know where to find it. <coughs> What's the matter, honey? You don't like me. You wouldn't take my gold mine. Oh, sure, I like you. That doesn't mean I'm not going to take care of you. I promised, didn't I? Now, I'll tell you what. Uncle Kit's going outside and he's got some work to do. Now, you stay in the house and be a good girl. And don't leave the house. How's the little senorita? Oh, an amazing child, but a little cross and tired. See what you can do to cheer up. I want to go over there and check up on those diggings. Bueno, I know how to take care of those little ones. With my nephews and nieces, I have a lot of experience. Oh, I'm going to have a great big house. Una casa grande. And will you get married? Well, when I get my gold mine, there will be many beautiful women after me. I suppose I'll have to make one of them happy. Then you're going to have a home for me to live in and a mother to bring me up. Hey, not so fast, little one. I promised only when I get the gold from my mine. Give me this, that you're giving me your gold mine? Yes, Uncle Toro. Oh, I do not want it. You forgot to say thank you. Oh. <laughs> thank you, Marcy. But I'm going to have a gold mine of my own. I do not need yours. I'm going to put this here in the book for you, huh? Oh, you're tired, pobrecita. You ought to go in there and take your nap, huh? Yes, Uncle Taro. <laughs> the little one is 
taken her nap. Good. From what I know about gold, this is a mighty promising prospect. There's color in that rock. And even some nuggets. This might revert back to pudding stone. Why do they call this place pudding stone? Oh, what a fine gold miner you are. This formation got its name because the nuggets are as thick as raisins in the pudding. Tell me, Kit, if you were a rich man, what would you do? I never thought about it. I guess I'd like to take a trip around the world. Or maybe enter politics. People say they need young men in Washington. That's not a very active or exciting life. That's not for Kit Carson. Well, you asked me what I'd like to be if I were a rich man. And what would you like to do? I like to build me a Casa Grande. And then when I have my big house, I like to marry with a, a motherly type woman. A motherly woman at your age? Because of a long friendship, I overlooked that remark. Little Marcy was asking for her mother. Oh, I'm sorry, Tara. Indians? They'd be on foot. I heard horses. That's the mine you were talking about. Yes, sir. Pudding stone number one. Well, it don't look like very much to me. Well, neither did that new strike I recorded. This is the nearest property to that same rich vein. Well, let's go up and stake our claim. What are you doing here? May I ask what you're doing here? Protecting this property against claim jumpers, which you look like he might be. I'll give you one minute to get off. Is she the owner? No, he's not Joe Brown. And what's he doing? Trying to jump the claim himself? You are hereby ordered to vacate. What's that? He means you better start moving, mister, if you know what's good for you. Your minute's up. Now get going. Good night, Uncle Toro. Buenas noches. Good night, Uncle Kit. Good night, honey. Say, what is this thanking you for nothing about? Oh, it's a little game we play. Kit, you should also thank me for nothing. Today I keep Marcy from giving you the mine. Please do not take it from our amigo. It would not make you happy to become rich, no matter how well you could take care of her. Besides, it would make you fat. That's a good one. I did the same thing to you for the same reason. And speaking about getting fat, Toro, I think a little hard work would do you a lot of good. Let us not think of ourselves but of the Nina. We must see to it that she does not lose her father's mind. Yeah, that's the whole idea. Those men you told me about, you think they come back? They're already back. Just heard some horses. What do you want? More trouble? We're here to talk this thing over quietly now that you've had time to cool off. All right. Come on in. I'm Thomas Clancy, county mining recorder, and this is Mr. Daggett and Mr. Morgan. I'm Kit Carson, my friend El Toro. Now, what's on your mind? The discharge of my duty, Mr. Carson. I'm here to inform you on the mining laws of California. Thank you, Mr. Clancy. But I'm quite familiar with the laws of California. Then you know that a certain amount of assessment work must be done every year in order to hold title to a mining claim. Oh, so that's the angle. When is the year up on this claim? Tomorrow afternoon, three o'clock sharp. Got it figured out to the minute, haven't you? Well, the year expires on the same hour that Mr. Brown filed on the mine. And how much work has to be done in order to keep this claim for him? Well, a hundred dollars if paid to labor, or 10 feet of shaft or tunnel if done by the owner himself. I thought you knew that. I do. And now let me tell you something. Mr. Brown is dead. Some Indians killed him on the trail. And the only thing he left for his little daughter, Marcy, is this claim. Do you still want to jump this claim? Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Carson, but I never mix sentiment in business. Good night. Come on, Clancy. Let's get some sleep, Toro. Get a lot of hard work ahead of us tomorrow in that tunnel. What are you doing out here? Oh, I can't dig anymore. That rock's too hard. All right, I'll take over for a while. Hey, Kit, amigo. 
What now? I got a fine idea. Come here. You see that bank of dirt? It's much more easy to dig 10 feet of tunnel over there. How do we transplant it? What do you mean, transplant it? That soft dirt is not on this property. Why do they always have to make a mine of hard rock? Yeah, it is getting a little hard. Let's blast it. You mean that black powder I found in the cupboard finally goes to work for us? I go get it. Good morning, miss. Good morning. What's your name? Marcy. Marcy Brown. Well, well. So you're Joe Brown's little girl. Where's your father? Out there. Say, so, you know, I saw a man walking around out there this morning. He looked like he might be lost. My daddy? Well, I couldn't say for sure. Why don't you go and find out? I will. I'll help you. What kind of rock and harder yet? Everything is against us. Yes, again. That's pudding stone. We've struck a vein. That's gold. Gold? Oh, gold for little Marcy. How are you making out, gentlemen? I thought I told you to stay off this property. I can wait until it's my property. But I thought you were interested in Brown's little girl. What about her? She just rode off on her pony, looking for her father. And you let her go alone into Paiute country? Well, I tried to stop her, but you know how kids are. I don't feel very comfortable over this business. You got that, Morgan? Our friend isn't comfortable. Well, now, ain't that just too bad? Well, in my opinion, this stuff ought to run better than $3,000 a ton. You know, this is the kind of a rock that makes millionaires. Now, with that kind of income, you'll be able to take care of the others. What have they got coming? All they did was prove something we already knew. Look, Daggett, I've gone along with you on some pretty raw deals. But when it comes to taking advantage of a child, I've got to draw the line. You know, your line could turn out to be a row of iron bars at that new prison up at San Quentin. I've got enough on you to send you there, and you know it. Oh, hello, Carson. I see you found a little girl. Yes, but no thanks to you. Querida, you go into the next room and don't come out till we call you. You sent her out to find her father. You sent her into Paiute country to look for a dead man. You ought to be dead yourself. are going to finish the assessment work on this claim. You better wait and find out first what the mining recorder has to say about it. Clancy, I'm sorry, but you're too late to complete your assessment work. Your time expired at exactly 3 o'clock. It's 3.30 now. I'm sorry, I guess I forgot the law. I've had quite a bit on my mind lately. And now, Mr. Mining Recorder, I've got something to show you. We found Joe Brown's daughter. We took care of her. We fulfilled all the conditions of his will. Doesn't that give us first chance to file on the claim? On the contrary, this will establishes that both you and your friend have been acting as the agents of the late Mr. Brown. Now, under the law, anyone can file on a defaulted mining claim except the previous owner or his agents. Then little Marcy loses her claim. I'm afraid that's the case, Mr. Carson. Canalla! This is the most wicked case of injustice I have ever heard of in my whole life. 
I ought to shoot these ladrones as they deserve. Take it easy, Toro. You can't settle all the problems in life by just pulling a trigger. Let him go. I said let him go. How can you permit him to do this to little Marcy? Let him go. Let's ride back and pick up a few specimens. You know, we're going to need some cash to promote this mine. It, surely you cannot allow the little one to lose her fortune. Are you out of your mind? If I am, so is the governor of California. Here, take a look. A warrant from the governor giving me full authority of all mining records and registers. Then why do you let me work so hard? Oh, you needed the exercise and I needed to give them enough rope to hang themselves. Yeah, hey, but you said Senor Clancy was absolutely legal. He was, up to a certain point. But he didn't cite all the laws that govern this particular case. What did he choose to forget? The fact that we have three days grace to finish any assessment work that we've already begun. So we work like slaves when we could have took it easy. Ay de mi. Are you feeling sick, Uncle Toro? See, si, Marcy, I have what they call a very high fever. I'm boiling mad. Stay here, Marcy. Like we're too late. For that delay, I'm happy. Miro, nombre blanco. I'm Joe Brown. I lost my daughter yesterday. You know anything about her? Yeah, she's safe in the cabin. Safe and sound. Thank God. She'll be very glad to see her, Papa. How come you're alive and with the Indians? Oh, on account of a raging fever, I guess. When the Paiutes caught up with me, I was out of my head. So they figured I must be a great medicine man. So they think you make medicine when actually you need medicine. Well, they doctored me and brought me out of it. But I had to keep on being loco till I could make a break. I get it. They took you along on their raiding parties to bring them good luck. You brought it to them, all right. Carson! Mr. Carson! Another ghost walking. Protect me. Save me. I'll do anything you say. I I'll register your mining claim. Don't you worry, Mr. Clancy. We're going to take you to a real nice, safe place. To jail. Raise your right hand and take the oath of office. I do solemnly swear to execute the duties of the mining recorder of Inyo County according to the laws of the state of California. By the authority vested in me as deputy of the governor of California, I hereby appoint you Joe Brown, mining recorder of Inyo County. Congratulations, Joe. Thank you, Mr. Carson. Thank you, El Toro. Where you going now, kid? To Fort Cajon, the nearest army post. Men like Joe Brown are entitled to some protection for their mines. I go with you. Maybe I enlist in your army. Maybe I become a great general. But Uncle Toro! You said you were going to be a gold miner and a very rich man. Don't you remember? Well, uh, I was a gold miner, querida, and I never forget it. And I never forget the little senorita. Me too. Bye, honey. Bye, Joe. Bye, Mr. Carson. Bye, El Toro. <laughs> <laughs>